Now in this part, what I've done is I've replaced the weight W with the 24 newtons that we found from the last part. And we've now got to find this reaction at the support D, which I've labelled R with a subscript D. And to do this, this is very straightforward, all we need to do is resolve upwards. Okay, You can resolve vertically downwards if you want, but it seems that upwards is the most sensible because our reaction here at the support D is in the positive sense. So resolving upwards we've got RD and then we've got the 120 and the 24 that act in the opposite sense to the positive sense here. So that's going to be minus 120 and minus 24. And this resultant force, because the rod is in equilibrium, must be zero. So just put that equal to zero. So all you need to do is just rearrange this and RD must be equal to 120 plus 24, which is going to be 144. Don't forget those units, newtons. So that's the reaction on the support D, 144 newtons acting upwards.